good YouTube. It's your boy Deuce. I'm back and I'm at work right now. But you know, I ain't got nothing to do, so I'm just gonna go ahead and knock this video out. I will fix the angle of the camera, but considering the fact that um I am at work and I'm in a car, this is what's gonna have to happen. Are these stickers? I believe they are. Um let me get something real quick before I finish talking. I'm actually here to talk about something I just purchased and um something that I already had that I added something to or something I picked up to add to us the firearm. Um so on my last video, which is my Taurus G3, um standard issue nine mm pistol, I talked a lot about you know the pros and the cons. More so the pros. I really there's nothing really bad about the gun to me. But um for you that don't know who's not subscribed to my channel. Um, I've actually already had um, many Tauruses. I had a G2C, I had a, and my first gun was actually a Taurus um, 380. So I obviously like this this, this brand of firearms. And, um, they're cheaper than the most average handguns and they're cheaper than most of, I guess, the everyday handgun, but I prefer these over a lot of other guns, man. Like, I, I, I like guns based off my own preference, not what everybody else likes. And, you know, some people will tell you that the Glock is the best gun in the world to have, for the best handgun in the world. Figure that out for yourself, okay? Go off your own opinion. Go. The best advice I can give anybody about firearms, bro, that I think anybody who has a firearm will agree with, besides, like, people who are very picky and their pride matters. And a gun is a gun, okay? Now, when I say this, I don't mean... You get a high point, and you think you're going to turn a high point into a, this latest legendary gun. That's not what I mean. I mean, I mean, like, far as, like, um, when you when you buy guns, bro, their, their purpose is to protect. So, in my experience, and what I've watched, and what I've learned from watching other YouTubers and shit is, it's about what you like, what you can handle, what the people around you can handle, what you can shoot, what you can afford, all that matters when it comes to buying a gun. Not, this isn't a contest as to where, like, you know, I got the better gun than every other YouTuber. It doesn't matter. I mean, everybody in the world, if, if you buy, okay, if you buy, fuck, if you buy a G3, okay, there's about a million other people that probably has this gun, or hundreds of thousands. There's literally a hashtag for this gun alone on Instagram. So, it's cheap, it's not a Glock. It's not a SIG, it's not a Ruger, it's not Smith & Weston, but it's a gun that'll protect you, that'll do the job, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but let me stop talking so much to show you what my little new thing is I got for it. All right, so what second. we have here is my holster that I actually use for my G2C, but oddly, I was surprised. It fits this gun as well. Um, <clears throat> sorry about that, but um, basically what I was saying, though, <clears throat> is this gun is a good gun and this holster is actually a great holster um i bought this holster where did i get this holster from i believe i got this holster um there's a store called stream make sure i'm saying this right uh what is it called i think it's streaming field i got this from which is basically like another dick sporting goods but more so on the hunting side than anything else um, but I got this when I got like my second G2C. Yeah, so I've had a lot of those guns, and this is the probably the best color I had. Honestly, like I had black and hold on, let me take this off. Oh, you're fighting me, ain't you? Hold on. Holding the camera, so it's kinda hard to do. Okay, there we go. He's, he's, he's take he's taking it. There's a little time to come off, but he's coming. Alright, so this is probably the best gun colorway I've had with the green, the you know, the battle green and the the, the, the nice stainless, you know, see, you know what I'm saying? That looks nice. Then the black just adds a little nice touch to it. Give it a nice little depth. And, you know, got the... Yeah, if you've seen the last video, you you pretty much... I broke the gun down as best as I could and showed you as much as I could on it. Um, But this gun fits inside of here, which is really... Was custom made for a G2C at the time. But the thing that Taurus actually did with this gun, which is basically... Honestly, to me, is a G2C with a longer handle, a bigger clip. Oh, I'm sorry. I keep saying that. A bigger magazine. Not a clip magazine. 
and a longer barrel. That's about it. And they made like a little small. Maybe if you had enough of the guns, this is new. This is new. This right here, new. That that's new. They didn't have that on the last one. Um, there's nothing too much else new about it. But that honestly, those small little nicks and maybe how it performs because it shoots fast. Heck, man, this gun shoots. Yeah, that that trigger pull ain't no joke on that thing. I ain't no saying thing like that. It ain't no joke. You know what I'm saying? The safety is on, so I'm putting and there's nothing in that. In, 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 you know what I'm saying? This is for the video. I took the bullets out of this gun for the video because I didn't want people to think I was unsafe with my firearm and I don't know what I was doing and all this. But back to the, the holster. Okay, so this holster though is a good holster for this firearm. It's a night. Now this is the only problem though. This thing when it clip on, man, you cannot get this off your pants. It's one of those holsters that just this will you will rip your pants off trying to get this pant this thing off. It is a strong clip, and it's it's mounted to where it can go on the left side of my body because I'm actually left handed, which is kind of difficult for me because a lot of guns are actually made for right handed people. It's a lot of, a lot of ambidextrous type of guns out here. Okay, um, I actually just purchased the new AR, which is what I'm going to do another, my next video on is talking to you guys about the gun i purchased and how much i paid and how difficult it was to find a gun because i don't know if you guys noticed but covid 19 made it very hard very 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 hard very 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 hard to find guns now especially in person so i found this in person on some luck type of stuff like i honestly went into a store seen this never seen this color before on this gun on this particular gun or any of the for that matter um I just had to get it. I had to get it right then and there. Like, I didn't want to think about it, come back tomorrow. No. I, I, the store I went to, the guns sell like crack in there. I, I'm not kidding you. Like, excuse my language, but the guns sell very, very fast in that store. Like, this gun would have been gone within minutes if I haven't grabbed it, I feel like. Honestly. Because it was like three other people looking at it. I grabbed it out the shelf to look at it, but it, we went to the counter and that was it. It was gone. I didn't give them enough time to second guess it or none of that. Like, I was ready to get this thing and go. But... COVID-19 has made it very hard for anybody who's trying to purchase a firearm, first firearm, cheap firearm, any of that. It's kind of hard for that now. So what I've done was I actually went and bought a gun offline through um, gunbidding.com. And, man, that site is very confusing. When I first get on there, I thought it was just, you know, you get on there, you find a gun you like, you just, you try to bid for it. If you win, you got, you got days to, you know what I'm saying, you got a couple days to, you know, decide if you want to buy it still or not. No, that's not how it works. Okay, a lot of different type of vendors and stuff on there, they have their own personal rules. That I guess I didn't take the time to read. I just was looking for an AR-15, but I didn't... You'll see, you'll see. Basically, um, this, back to this, though. This gun was very hard to find, and guns right now are very hard to find. The COVID-19 has really made that hard. I'm talking about... You might have trouble trying to find a high point at this point. Um, and I say that because, you know... um. First time, people who are going to buy guns and stuff, you know, you think you're just going to walk... Out. It might vary from whatever city you're in. I'm in Alabama. I, I'm, I live in Alabama. Right now, I'm at work in Louisiana. And the same thing is happening out here, actually. They don't have anything. This is one of the hardest things to find in the world right now because this... A lot of people won't tell you this, but guns are great investments, okay? Not, not saying that, you know, everybody's going to agree with me, but anybody who knows anything about actually investing money into stuff... This is a good investment. You can actually pay for your school, your kid's school through guns. Like, if you if you buy a bunch of guns today, right, your kid is like two, three, four, even 15. Okay, that's four, four, four years, two years, three years, out, and they'll be in um, college, right? I know a personal friend of mine who has enough guns to pay for his son to go to college right now if he wants. If he sold all those guns. Right now, because of what's going on, if he sold all his guns, his son can get paid through school. Because he has that many type of rare colorways, rare build. He builds most of his ARs himself. So I know a guy who works at a store. Who he works for Beretta. But he works at a gun store too. He just sold an AR-15 that was, he bought for $4,000 for $10,000. Guns gain value over time. Not like a car. Not like a house. Not You know, I mean, houses do, but they don't. It just depends. That's based off a lot of other stuff. But Yeah. This is not a bad investment. You, This would never be a dumb decision to make. Buying a gun would never be a dumb decision to make. For anybody who ever told you so, they probably just don't like guns. They don't feel safe around them, so that's why they feel that way. But guns are not dumb decisions to buy. As long as America allows you to do that, do that. Buy guns because this is a good investment for you. This can save you. This is a this is a walking, this is a walking um savings account. 
Like, you know, when I say walking, I mean you're walking around with saved money in your possession. If you keep your guns in good, you know, take care of them, good condition and whatever, this gun probably will look like this up until I'm, I'm ready to sell it. Because I take very good care of my guns. I don't just, you know, buy them, shoot them a thousand times, don't ever clean them. That, that, that'll that mess up any gun. Clean your guns, okay? I'm trying to get all the tips and all the feeds, you know what I'm saying? I like talking a lot, so y'all know I talk a lot, okay? I talk a lot. But, um, serious though, like, this is a good investment. This, watches, purses, and, um, I believe it's houses, I guess. I was taught there was four things you invest in. I'm trying to make sure I say the right ones. They're small. They're things a lot of people don't think of at the time. But watches are great to invest in. Guns are great to invest in. Women purses. This is going to sound weird, but for you women watchers who, who watch my videos and want to learn about guns, here's a new tip for you. Buy purses. There are certain purses who that will literally gain value over the years. I do that because my mom used to be a very expensive woman at a point in time. She she still is, but she just died down some, okay, with the whole buying stuff. But, um, yeah, so... The point of this video was for this holster. Just to show y'all a new toy I got, you know what I'm saying? Come with the extra clip holder and all that good stuff. And it comes with the, you know what I'm saying, nice little clamp. You know what I'm saying? You actually can move all of this. You can take this off and put it on this side. You can take this off, put it over here. All this stuff can be, you know, moved from one side to the next, basically. Like, the clamp can go on this side or this side. This can be put on this side for right-handed people. All this stuff can be flipped. All of it. Okay. This is a good little thing. I'm actually going to do a video on my everyday carry pretty soon, too. Even though I just got this gun, there was a gun I was using before this gun, but I'm still using the same everyday carry items. Just add this gun to take the other one away. My first gun I think I was carrying was literally just a Smith & Weston um, SD VE 40 cal. And I ended up giving that to my girlfriend to carry around as her everyday carry because of the simple fact that I feel like that that's actually her first firearm she owns. And instead of me just throwing her like a 380 or going and buying her something that you know, I guess a lot of people feel like a woman wants... She didn't want no small gun. She wanted something big with kick in it and power. So I got her a 40 round. You know what I'm saying? 40 for her first gun. And she goes to the range a lot and she likes it. So that's cool. But um, I'm going to end up buying her her own personal... Like letting her go and pick out her own gun eventually. But I just want her to use that for the time being to get used to one of the higher caliber firearm so when she go down to like a 9 or 380 that thing won't be nothing to her she'll be shooting that thing like it's a toy gun so with that being said though man that's what this video is all about showing you my new holster you know what i'm saying updating you on the firearm um yeah still still out of town right now telling you upcoming news all the new stuff i'm going to be launching this channel is mainly going to focus on firearms now and maybe my daily life every now and then but i'm really starting to get into these myself well, I've been into guns since I was little. My first gun I held in my hand was a 357. So I've been known about guns. It's just, I have, I, I'm from Chicago. So I was never able to just obtain these easily. Obviously, it's a very different lifestyle here than versus Chicago. So um, I kind of fell in love with the hobby of collecting these and buying these and shooting these and building these. And it, it's just fun. Okay. Anybody who told you guns aren't safe, like, Dumb people who have guns aren't safe, okay? Don't blame this. This this requires a hand from a human to use. This gun cannot hurt me sitting like this. The safety is on. It's not wrecked. All that would have to be done by me. So when people feel like unsafe around guns, that's their way of telling you the people that they're around use guns dumb. Because everybody I grew up around my life has never put fear in my heart for these. I have never had fear in my heart from a gun from anybody I grew up around who had a gun. Like... Everybody I grew up around used them the right way for the right things, had them at the right time. Kept them away from children or, you know, babies. But taught when it was time for them, them to teach us how to shoot it, they taught us how to do it, how to hold it properly and all that. So I fell in love with this hobby at a young age, and it, it still hasn't shook my body yet. I'm actually getting more guns. I'm hoping to have at least 50 by next year. Honestly, like that's my goal, to have 50 firearms. Um, some of them built by me, some of them bought. Um, hopefully this COVID thing goes away pretty soon so I can add more attachments. As of right now, I don't plan on putting anything on my gun. Maybe like a flashlight later. I don't want to make it too dressed up. You know, that goes back to what I was talking about earlier with the Glock. I'm, I'm not trying to do too much to gun it. It's a nice gun how it is, but I might change the sights. Don't know yet. Might add a, um, either a flashlight or a laser. Don't know yet. It's already have 17 rounds, mags, so anything of, like, you know, it's, it's already has like a nice size magazine, so... Anything over this 
it's to me outrageous. Like I don't know what else I can actually get besides what came with the gun. I mean, I know they have the Pro Mags, but I don't trust those. I have one in my 40, but I don't put it in there anymore. I bought it and it shoots perfectly fine. But I might not get the same result with every gun, so I just don't like those, and I don't like no. Maybe I'll do a video for like a, a extended clip, like extended mag. I almost said it again. It's a bad habit. I'm trying to break. I listen to a lot of rap music. Okay, so don't don't, don't knock me. Okay, but I might do a video for like an extended magazine and all that, and see just just to see how it looks in the gun, cause how the gun looks that might help a lot of people decide they want to get one or not. But I'll let you know in the near future. But this was just like an update on the gun I bought recently and the new thing I picked up for it. Well, actually, I've been had, but, you know, added to it and how it looks in the in the holster. It looks better than the G2C, to be honest. It actually, like, this would have fit this gun better. I actually think they should have just went ahead and made this. If this was like a prototype they were working off of this long, they should have just went ahead and waited and dropped this. Because that, 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 that Taurus G2C was basically the PT-111 with a nice little extra oof to it, I guess. But... Yeah, this thing look nice in here, man. You know what I'm saying, man? This thing look good, man. It looks like it was meant for this gun. It literally is at the tip of this. And a little bit of the booty is hanging out. I will say, like, a little bit of the booty is hanging out. But it fits like a like a glove on this thing, man. Ain't no, ain't no hassle. I mean, it, it takes two hands to clamp this thing down. I ain't gonna lie. You fighting me now. But it's a good little holster. But, yeah, man, make sure you like and subscribe. That's how it looks inside. You know what I'm saying? Look, looks kind of nice. You know what I'm saying? Everything's good. Got the extended, you know what I'm saying? Got the extra man. Got the extended is already in there. Go ahead, leave a like, subscribe. Uh, I'm going to be talking about my AR-15 probably tomorrow. This video will go out tomorrow or Friday. And I'll have the AR-15 video um, of, like, the steps I took, how I found the gun, how I go about online shopping for my guns. Probably about Monday or Tuesday, man. I'm going to try to drop a video, two, three videos a week on guns just to, like, teach you what I know. And any questions you have that a lot of people actually go around to avoid, I'll try to answer those. Um, and, yeah, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe.